The emergence of electric vehicle, EV, graveyards across China reflects a concerning trend affecting the entire automotive sector, not just the smaller companies. This trend has intensified recently, as even the largest EV manufacturers are struggling to stay afloat in an extremely competitive market. Several reasons explain this phenomenon, and here are seven key factors illustrating why more Chinese EV makers are going bankrupt, leaving massive EV graveyards behind. China has become the most competitive car market in the world, with over 21 million vehicles sold annually. Approximately one-third of the market is now made up of electric vehicles, which intensifies the competition among manufacturers. The price war began over a year and a half ago when Tesla slashed its prices by 9% in an effort to stay competitive with the ever-growing domestic competition. Early in 2023, Tesla reduced prices again, but Chinese automakers quickly responded by offering their own massive price cuts. This wave of price reductions soon engulfed the entire auto industry, especially when major Chinese automakers like BYD joined the fray, offering unprecedented discounts. As a result, companies began losing significant amounts of money just to survive. Tesla recently initiated another round of price cuts, lowering the cost of its models by nearly $2,000, prompting other major Chinese EV makers like Xpeng and Li Auto to follow suit. They not only reduced prices but also provided millions in subsidies to maintain their positions as the fastest-growing EV companies in China. The profit margin, once estimated at 5%, is believed to have evaporated, putting smaller companies at risk of going bankrupt and contributing to the emergence of new EV graveyards. The ongoing economic crisis in China is also taking a toll on the EV sector, with even the largest players struggling to remain solvent. Companies like NIO and Xpeng, which were once seen as industry leaders, are now grappling with financial difficulties. Sales have stagnated, and revenues are declining, creating a ripple effect that impacts their suppliers. Many Chinese EV makers are months behind on paying their bills, a clear indication of the financial strain they are under. While China's EV market is huge, it's not big enough to support all of the country's automakers. Many Chinese EV companies have based their business models on the assumption that they would export large volumes. But that hasn't materialized and likely won't happen anytime soon. Even major players like BYD still sell 95% of their vehicles domestically. The main problem is that Western countries are seeking to protect their own auto industries. For example, U.S. President Joe Biden has proposed a 100% tax on Chinese EVs, as well as large levies on batteries and other components. Similarly, the European Union recently implemented a 38% tariff on Chinese cars, making them less competitive compared to domestic internal combustion models. Until Chinese EV manufacturers can successfully expand into Western markets, they will struggle to achieve long-term sustainability. What do you think? Drop your comments below, hit the like button if you enjoyed this, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the world of automobiles. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.